Hey guys, welcome back. This is Adrian Monique, and today I am back with the final installment, or the <laughs> final installment, the final, yeah, the final video to the to the Lorella Cosmetics series, and I'm ending it with the Stay Neutral Palette. It ha oh, it's kind of shiny, so it's got kind of a glare. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna get rid of this film, and here we go. This is the Stay Neutral Palette. Still has got kind of a glare. As you can tell, it's a neutral palette. <laughs> it's a big palette too. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to be doing my review on this palette. Now, I have not actually tried this one yet. So this will actually be like a first impressions video. Like for real, for real. Like this is my first time actually using this palette. I did swatch a couple of the of the colors um, and the shimmers are really smooth. They swatch very smoothly. We'll see how they do when they go on the eyes and everything like that. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to go in with this uh, putty primer, the, sorry, <laughs> the e.l.f. putty eye primer. Um, I liked how it performed when I was using the, uh, when did I use this? Oh yeah, when I was using it for my get ready video. I liked how it performed, so I'm just gonna try it again with these uh, with these neutral shadows. Um, it works better, I mean, well it applies better when you use your hands to actually apply it onto your eyelid and then you just kind of smooth it out with uh, with your brush that's what I was doing just to kind of warm it so you're just using your fingers to kind of just warm it up blending it out or the rest of it out with your fingers now this does have some concealer on it because I did use this brush to um, blend out the concealer on my eyebrows but mm, using neutral shadows so it doesn't really matter and honestly it didn't really matter when I was using colorful shadows e either it still this still made my the eyeshadows pop, to be honest with you. I'm not exactly sure what colors I want to go into. Like, it's just so much to choose from. It's just really so much to choose from. The first um, shadow that I'm going to go into is going to be Falling. I just tap tapped, and it looks like, child, you really don't need to. It's, it's a lot of pigment. So we're going to, ooh, oh, look at that. See, it's a lot of pigment. Now I'm just going to plant that color right in there. It's actually deeper than I th thought it would be, actually. And I'm just placing the color in there right now. It's just... What I'm going to go into is actually desert. I'm going to go back into falling just to kind of bring them in together. Go into another color that's a little bit deeper. I'm going to go into the color bean. And I'm just going to take that all over. I'm kind of muddying up. I don't know how I feel about Okay, so I really don't know how I feel about these. I feel like they're kind of, but they're almost kind of muddying up together. So I'm not sure how I feel about those. I don't know if it's because I'm just over blending or I don't know. I just, I didn't really have that problem with the other two. So it's almost as if these browns are just kind of they're blending together, but it I don't know how to describe it. I just don't like what they're doing. Just becoming like a glob of brown. So yeah, there's not really a lot of distinction. Like I guess I was hoping that Desert and Falling and Pumpkin, I'll just go ahead and just put this palette up. 
where you have desert falling and pumpkin where they seem like they're completely different browns but they seem like they when they're on the eye they tra they translate into like the same color um they do they are very very pigmented i will say that they're very very pigmented and i also but i also feel like um when i was trying to have a distinction between desert and bean when i was trying to have a distinction between those two in the crease area they're kind of just there's not much of a difference either i'll have to try it also with just like a, another primer as well maybe the white primer just I don't know, maybe it's just too much. Okay, so the next color I'm going to go into is Snow, and it's just like this white. It's not white, it's like a cream color. Okay, and then the next color I want to go into is Trick. Oh, that's nice. Oh, would you look at that? I'm going to take Stunna as well and try to see if I can just top it. Let's see if I can bring out that color just a little bit more. And that's nice. So. This is how it's looking so far. I don't like that matte color, so I'm actually going to take another color. Let me just take my little um, color changer. I just roll it, swirl it in here. <laughs> actually gonna go into the color Flakes. Let me see how that. And it's like a, it's basically like the cream version of snow. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's like the cream version of snow, like the frosty version of snow. Color, I wasn't feeling it. Just gonna move on to the face. Uh, I'm actually going to be taking my Cover FX Blurring Primer. And usually with blurring primers, I like to use them in the like the t-zone area because that's where I'm most oily and that's where my pores are most visible and I just smooth it out towards the outside of my face and the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the infallible fresh wear foundation the L'Oreal focus camera you gotta focus there we go the L'Oreal infallible fresh wear um, foundation in the color what is it hazelnut And you see, like, even though I put a lot, because <laughs> I did put a lot, like, this was way too much. <laughs> even though I put a lot, like, it doesn't still, it doesn't feel like it's a lot. It doesn't feel heavy, and it doesn't even look heavy either. Guys, you just see what I just did? I'm done. I'm done. Tried to take some of that off, but... Okay, so let's just... Okay, let's just... What's wrong with you? Good grief. That's what I was supposed to do. This is why I don't contour on my nose. <laughs> 
because I can never get it right. Just never get it right. That was a hot mess. Just a hot mess. Okay, I'm gonna put some uh, eyeliner on. I kind of already etched it out with some eyeshadow because that's it's just what I do because I don't really put on eyeliner like that. So. take some blush I'm gonna go into my Maybelline fit me blush it's called berry it's the yeah it's just this little thing this thing is small but it packs a mean punch I mean it's just gorgeous it's just such a just I'll just look at that it's just like a nice this is like something that I like to use in the fall too and you know we're getting there we're getting there but I just love just that natural and it's gotta have like a little bit of sheen to it too it's just, I kind of always go overboard with this. Like, just look at that. It's just so pretty. Lips. <laughs> I'm going to take my uh, Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Ink in Driver. Yes. So I'm going to be going into my NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. Put that only in the center. I'm going to go into my Glow Kit, Sun Dip. cloud and kind of just tap that into the brow area you see how that just kind of finishes the look and then just kind of blend it in like so so as far as what I feel about the palette um, I give it probably like a B um, the shimmers are awesome I love the shimmers those are they swatch good they apply just as good if not better um, the mattes I have like a love-hate relationship with them like I feel like they're very very pigmented and I love that about them but um, it gets to the point where I feel like blending them together they almost like they get kind of muddy and there's not a lot of distinction between the different the different tones like the, the, the different colors like we have um, what, what what did I use? Falling and, and pumpkin. I feel like those two, um, let's see. Here's pumpkin and then here's falling. They're, they look very similar on the, on camera. They're not that similar. They're, 
they're similar, but pumpkin is significantly lighter than falling. And so, but when you put them on the eye, they literally look like they're the same shade. They literally look like they're the same color. So they don't translate the way that they look in the pan. And I feel it's the same way with um, desert, which I feel like are completely different colors. Desert, and then you have beans. It's not really a lot of um, distinction between those colors. When I was blending them together, they just got all muddied up. And even when I was blending dead, like those colors, even into the lighter colors, like my transition shade, they were just kind of muddying up together into like just this one brown. And um, yeah, that's what I, that's the one con that I would have about this palette. I would say that I like the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette just a little bit more. Also just because I like the, I like the color section just a little bit more of the Bare Necessities palette. Like you get, um, your deep browns and you also get some mauves and you get these little nice um, bright shimmery colors as well as some uh, light mattes you can use as like a brow bone highlight and stuff like that. I just like the color scheme of the Bare Necessities palette a lot more than I like the Stay Neutral palette. Um, that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> I recommend it still. I feel like I still got a pretty look from this palette and I feel like I'm, I'll make more not a B I'll give it a B <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching and more content is coming soon yeah just stay tuned for some more content yeah um so much yeah <laughs>